Number 38 car. Here's the result of illegal bleeder valves on the back of the race car that were discovered by NASCAR during the rain delay at Pocono. The 38 team was docked 150 driver and owner points. Crew chief Stephen Lane, $100,000 fine suspension for 12 races. Other members of the team were suspended as well, and they are on Dean Wormer's double secret probation until December 31st. So that was a very tough fine and penalty handed down to that team. But what exactly is a bleeder? valve well booty barker explains i know you're not going to believe this but it was on our schedule this week to talk about air bleeder valves it just happened that way so what is a bleeder valve well before we get too in depth into the subject let me first explain that it's strictly against the rules to use any kind of air bleeder valve it's in the nascar rule book and everybody on the garage knows it now that we've established that let's get to the fun stuff what is a bleeder valve what happens is, you see this valve core right here, this valve stem, excuse me. Inside is a valve core, and on top of it, you use a valve cap. Usually, all these things are used to put air in the tire and keep air in there. Now, what do we racers do? Or well, some other racers, of course, not I. What we'll do is we'll manipulate the way in which this core works. Some fancy stuff. Inside, you'll use a spring and a check ball. And as the inertia of the tire turning over, the ball opens the spring and lets the air bleed out. That's the fancy way. Then you other, have other things where you take these valve caps and do the old switcheroo, and it'll have holes in them. And essentially, it'll suppress that valve core and let the air bleed out. Or you can get somewhat fancy as well and clock this valve core, and it'll open an orifice for you. Any of the three ways will do the job, but all of them are illegal. So I'm sure you're wondering, why use bleeder valves anyway? Don't you want air in the tire instead of out of it? Well, yes, you do, but here's a good reason. This tire builds a lot of heat and therefore builds a lot of pressure. What happens from the brakes, it radiates into the tire. Also, the friction from the tire to the surface, it slides, it also creates heat. And what happens is these tires create a lot of pressure inside. Now, that normally wouldn't be an issue, but the way these tires are designed, they have a specific pressure that makes the most grip, and we're aware of it. Take Pocono, for example. 15 PSI is where we had to start. That's much higher than we would like to because we don't want, but let's say, 20 pounds of air in the tire total. Well, starting at 15, they're going to get blown up like a basketball. So what you would do, if you could do whatever you wanted to, is put that bleeder valve on the tire, start at, let's say, around 12, and it would bleed air off and keep it around 20. It would give you a big advantage, give you a lot more grip. And that's why those guys did it, in order to get a competitive advantage. I don't blame my brother for trying to seek a competitive advantage. You know I do as well. But sometimes NASCAR is going to catch you because they want to keep it playing field legal. And when you want to hear the music, sometimes you got to pay the piper.